What's up, YouTube? What's up, Red Nation? It is your boy, Byron Live 95 uh, The game has been over for about, like, 30 minutes or so. Can't really uh, give you a timetable. But, yeah, what did we lose? Fucking, it was... And this is the craziest part, man. Last week, I didn't make a video because I was like, there's honestly nothing to make a video about. We got blown out by the fucking Jets. And then what's the biggest, craziest thing? The Jets lose to the Cincinnati Bengals, who haven't won a game this whole season. But that was the team we got blown out to. I love the Raiders to death, man. I don't think we're a playoff team this year. Yes, I know we have lots of games to go. Yes, I understand we're not out of it. Pittsburgh controls their own destiny. And then right above them is the Titans. And if you guys have been checking out the, the podcast with uh, Raider Ben, link will be down in the description if y'all haven't. I told him, I'm scared. Not, I mean, not scared. Let, let me not say that. Sound like a bitch. I'm very concerned about the Tennessee Titans. I don't see us beating them. I'm just going to keep it a buck 100. I don't. And we got to hope those two teams keep losing and we keep winning. I don't want to be in those situations. But anyways, the game. This offense isn't talented enough to go deep in the playoffs. This defense damn sure isn't. Patrick Mahomes making throws like I have not, but, but it is what it is. But where, uh, uh, where to start? Um, the only great players we really have on this team on the offense is Josh Jacobs. He came to show up. And Darren Waller, seven catches for 100 yards. Those are the bright spots. And now I think teams have figured this out and said, if we can contain Josh Jacobs, which isn't going to be easy, but they're like, if we can contain him, make sure Darren Waller doesn't get anything and make Derek Carr go to these other wide receivers, we struggle. Also, Derek Carr had a bad game. I do not want to see nobody in the comments section go like, well, it's because we don't have wide receivers. We don't have the defense. We don't have, uh, uh, we didn't have the right size shoes. He didn't have the right size cleats. Um, it, you know, the, the, the wind was, you know, messing with it. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Today, Derek Carr had a bad game. It is what it is. Yes, we wish we had number one receivers. Yes, we wish we had all of it. But two picks. The first throw. And then the pick six. Kansas City has Derek Carr's ass. I don't know what it is. If it's under 40 degrees, Derek does not look good. So I don't want to hear none of this shit no more. Am I saying get rid of Derek Carr? No. Am I saying keep Derek Carr? No, but what I'm saying is, if we want to go far, right, if we want to go deep, deep in the playoffs, and you want Carr to be your guy, I 100% understand, but you also have to understand this, if we go into January, it's going to be cold, and Derek is going to have to show up when it is cold, when you go into the wild card, it's going to be cold weather. There's none we can control about that. So either you're going to hope Derek is going to get overcome this or you're going to have to set, be uh, satisfied with the idea that, yes, he's our quarterback and we can take it uh, 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 to the playoffs, but we're not going to win much. Is what it is. Sorry, I just, I just want to throw that out there. Not a hater of Derek Carr. Not a fan of Derek Carr, but wasn't one of his best games. Uh, we need wide receivers. Zay Jones ain't it. Tyrell Williams been a been a bust in free agency. Dude had what, two catches or one catch today? And uh, Trevor Davis ain't that guy. I mean, we're not ready, y'all. Next week, we got the Titans. Ryan Tannehill always beats us. He's 5-1 and one as the starter right now. Derrick Henry, I don't know how we're going to contain Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is on some other level shit. And oh yeah, I almost forgot to talk about the defense. Uh, Max Crosby, he keeps showing up everywhere. Max Crosby, we got that. The future's going to be great. Mo Hurst got a sack. Trayvon Mullen got a pick. And here's the, here's the shittiest part, man. Listen, on the NFL, I understand you're going to pick on us when it comes to penalties. I've accepted that. It is what it is. I wish it wouldn't happen, but it is what it is. But how is it when bro gets a pick? Now you can review, and now you can call pass interference, and now you can say, oh, well, that interception doesn't count. And I'm going to keep it a buck. Was it pass interference, defensive holding, whatever you want to call it? Yeah. When they showed the replay, yes. And you guys know I, I, I love giving – I love saying corners don't hold in uh, uh, do pass interference because I used to play cornerback, and 
So I'm always biased with that. But I can say, yeah, that nigga, he had his shorter pad bent down and was holding him and then jumped out in front. It was pass interference. But the fact that I had to call it right there, it's like we losing the game. We ain't going to get much far. Can we at least get the pick? Can we at least get the pick? Um, we still have not beat Kansas City in Kansas City in a long damn time. Don't see this team go to playoffs. If we do, then I'll eat crow, eat shit. I'm not a dude that's scared to be wrong about my opinions. I've been wrong about a lot of opinions. I don't claim to be an analyst. I'm just a fan. I was very passionate about this team. But the last two games, it's like you guys were in the playoff picture. And in the last two games, this is how y'all. I don't see playoffs. Just me. I want playoffs. Don't get it twisted. Been a Raider fan for 13 years, ever since 2006. I've only seen playoffs one damn year out of those 13. I want playoffs as bad. Man, if, if I go outside and, and kill somebody for some playoffs, best believe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't see it happening. Defense needs a lot of work. I'm proud of the direction this team is moving, though. So I'm not really too mad, but I am a little mad because I thought we put up a bit uh, 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 more of a fight. And I don't see us beating Tennessee next week. But keep it a buck a hundred. Uh, but yeah, congrats on Josh Jacobs, thousand yards. First time since Latavius Murray in 2015 and Darren McFadden in 2010. And first time for a Raider rookie ever to get a thousand yards rushing. Josh Jacobs, you the future, you the truth, you that boy. And, uh, what else? <laughs> I'm really trying to figure out what else to say. Patrick Mahomes was out here just wilding on us, as usual. Uh, the defense, Kansas City got a shitty defense, so I felt good about that. They didn't care. They was getting sacks. They were getting picks. They were getting pick sixes and taking it back to the house. But, yeah, uh, we ain't that team, y'all. I'm not giving up on the Raiders. I'm just saying, like, as far as just getting into the playoffs, if we get in the playoffs, I'll be happy, but I know. We aren't really going to go too far, especially if it get cold. Is what it is. Y'all take that food for thought. Let me know what y'all thought about uh, the game in the comment section. I will uh, talk to y'all later. Peace and uh, see y'all next week against Tennessee.